Okay. Well, I guess this is probably a good time to start uh, Chapter 6. Uh, as you know, Chapter 6 is the second half of uh, the 10 chapters of general pathology. So if you didn't realize it, we're half done with the general pathology course. I hope it's been fun. I hope it's been smooth. And I hope the uh, second five, uh, at least for me, are as much fun to you as the first five. Uh, the sixth chapter is called Diseases of Immunity, as you can see. And when you think about it, isn't everything a disease of immunity? I mean, if we had perfectly uh, perfect immune systems, we'd never get diseases and maybe we'd never get old either. Uh, so in this chapter, we're going to be dealing with uh, general uh, trends in immunity or defects of immunity that cause the classical immune diseases. Now, I know you have a completely separate course, probably, in something called uh, immunity immunology. Maybe it's part of microbiology. I don't know. This is not intended to be an immunology course. This is intended to show you a summary of the basic uh, immune mechanisms and how failure of them can lead to diseases. In addition, we are going to be dealing with the concept of autoimmune diseases or failure of our body to recognize our own antigens as normal. In addition, we're going to be dealing with the world's number one uh, immune disease uh, called AIDS as well as the uh, genetic or hereditary uh, diseases of immunity as well. So uh, let's get going. Uh, our objectives will be to differentiate between the concepts of innate, or the immunity you're born with, and adoptive immunity, which is the immunity that you get by virtue of being exposed to nasty antigens and learning how to deal with them. We're going to visualize uh, and recognize the basic uh, cells uh, of immunity and their basic functions. Uh, once again, the roles of the major cytokine players in immunity. We're going to talk about the classical four different types of hypersensitivity. And we're going to talk about the four major systemic autoimmune diseases, which are lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, Sjogren syndrome, and scleroderma, which is now uh, properly, more properly called uh, systemic sclerosis, uh, as well as mixed connective tissue disease and the major types of uh, autoimmune arteritis, generally known as either poly or peri arteritis nodosa. And remember, even though in some of these diseases the nomenclature is such that you would think it's limited to a certain area, like rheumatoid arthritis only involving uh, the joints, uh, it's not. These are all systemic, body-wide uh, autoimmune diseases. We're going to talk about the uh, primary or genetic or hereditary uh, diseases, as well as the number one acquired auto uh, acquired immunodeficiency with that emphasis on acquired uh, standing for the big A that's in AIDS. And uh, we're going to also talk about uh, amyloidosis, uh, considered a disease resulting as a buildup of immune protein, uh, and talk about the usual four main features of amyloidosis, just like there's four main features of all diseases, etiology, pathogenesis, morphology, and clinical expression. What is immunity? Immunity is your ability, body's ability to fight disease. You have an innate immunity uh, present before you're even born, uh, consisting of cells and cytokines and mechanisms where your body fights uh, both uh, external pathogens as well as recognizing internal antigens uh, as being uh, something they should leave alone. And then we can talk about adoptive immunity, which is developed by exposure to pathogens, uh, external antigens, uh, 
in innate immunity, we have obviously bearers. We have mucosal membranes. We have uh, antibodies coating and bathing some of these epithelial or mucosal surfaces. We have lymphocytes, macrophages, plasma cells, natural killer cells. We have the variety of cytokines and chemokines, which we talked about in acute inflammation as well as in regeneration and healing. Also very much tied in with the immune uh, system as well. We have a variety of plasma proteins complement coagulation factors and toll-like receptors, uh, which is part of innate immunity as well. Uh, let's take one minute at least to talk about the MHC. I think this is another topic you could probably talk about forever. Uh, it's the, probably the most confusing of all topics. I'll try to make it very, very simple. There's a place on your sixth chromosome, in other words, a locus, which codes for your cell surface compatibility. They have a variety of antigens on your surface of your cells. Uh, sometimes they're called uh, HLA antigens and uh, mice they're called H2. But he here's the bottom line. The major histocompatibility complex, MHC, is a specific place on chromosome six and it results in making proteins as part of the uh, adaptive immune system that recognizes your body's own surface antigens as being good guys and therefore will not attack them. Because the general rule is if your body encounters an antigen it doesn't recognize by virtue of having made stuff from the MHC, which recognize them, it's going to go after it. Naturally, I know the first thing you're thinking now is, what happens if it fails to recognize your own antigens as being good guys and it attacks it? Well, folks, that is what we call autoimmune diseases. Probably the single biggest growing category of diseases over the last uh, several uh, generations. Adaptive immunity is both cellular and humoral. Uh, we have a variety of cells, which I rattled off before, mostly lymphocytes and macrophages, and their uh, cells which differentiate from them, uh, as well as a variety of uh, immunoglobulins, humoral antibodies, various types, GAMDE, which act uh, as an adaptive mechanism to protect the body from foreign uh, antigens generally known as pathogen. If you want to look at this uh, system here as being the humoral side of the system, and if you want to look at the uh, cells on the right as being the cellular part of the uh, system, we could imagine uh, various uh, external uh, antigens, like perhaps on the surfaces of bacteria, coming in contact with antibodies uh, made from B lymphocytes which are then uh, picked up, sensed, uh, phagocytized by macrophages, resulting in destruction of those uh, pathogens. On the cellular side of immunity, of adaptive immunity, we have uh, these microbes coming into direct contacts with T cells by virtue of antigen presenting cells. And probably the single best general name for an antigen presenting cell would be a macrophage. So APCs, antigen presenting cells, present uh, uh, microbes, viruses, uh, foreign pathogens uh, directly to helper T cells, which then trigger off a series of cytokines, which we will talk about the two most important and commonly mentioned are TNF-alpha and interleukin-2, which trigger off more actions of lymphocytes, also involved ultimately in the destruction of those compounds, uh, some of which are direct uh, lysis uh, of the cell and some of which are uh, uh, more uh, triggering of macrophages to destroy the compounds. 
We're at the end of this thing, so let's stop for now.